Hi, I'm Lee Williams, the gun writer at the Herald Tribune, and I am in heaven again. We are in the vault at gunpoint. Uh, Felix is gracious enough to allow us in, and we are with Holden Chris. Holden, you're with WMD Guns. Mm -hmm. Why don't you tell me a little bit about them first? Okay, WMD Guns was started about four years ago. Um, we started off with a coding company working with Nickel Boron and developing Nickel Boron on BCGs and things like that. Nickel Boron is nickel with a certain percentage of boron in it, which makes it very hard. Once it's heated and hardened, a surface that's aluminum is actually 72 Rockwell on the scale, which makes it harder than the substrate. So on aluminum, it's very hard. The same thing with steel. And one of the cool properties of it is, is it's very coefficient to drag. It has very, very little of it. So you need little to no lube? Little to no lube. We say put a little lube on it. The reality is, is that we've made thousands and thousands of bolt carrier groups through the years and we ship out as many as we make. Those bolt carrier groups will really allow the gun an AR-15 to run without any lubrication. Wow. And I know who your clients are as proprietary, yes. but would I be wrong if I said you are doing nickel boron coating for major AR manufacturers? Absolutely. A lot of the high quality nickel boron that you see on the market, and believe me, there I could get technical with all the stuff, but there's different types of nickel boron. There's nickel boron nitrite, which has little particles. There's different kinds of nickel boron that are based on different surfaces that others have come out with. The reality is, is that this is really the real deal here. This is the properties of the quality of nickel boron that we've developed through the years, and this is what's being applied to these firearms to make them not only uh, efficient as far as using little lubrication and cleaning, but it also reduces the drag that we talked about. So the firearm yeah. lasts longer. Exactly, exactly. In most cases, there's not a breakdown factor in the firearm once it's done. Wow. And we guarantee the finish for life. I mean, we have BCGs running full auto, and I'll tell you the truth, they're running wonderfully. I, one of the places that I can talk about is the FBI Academy up there in Quantico, Virginia. Those guys have been running our bolt carrier groups for years now, and a lot of them are still using the existing bolt carrier groups that they've been firing you know, thousands and thousands of rounds through without any wear. Now, Felix is going to be your local contact. Yes. If somebody wants a, a weapon nickel boron coated or a, anything, they right. can come to Felix. Absolutely. Felix is going to be, and I are going to be partners over here. I drove over so I could bring these parts over to him and explain the technology. And But what you see is what you get. I mean, and it also is polished. One of the things that we're going to do is we're going to polish these up. We're also the the people that put out just about all, we have an NIBX Glock, I should say, just about all those nickel boron Glocks that you see on the market that are coated are coming from our company. I, I like it a little satiny, a little more tactical, but the polishing makes it a little brighter. Yes, I do. I like the matte finish also, but, but Alex wants a little bling, and it, to be honest with you, when we do polish it, you don't get the wear tracks on the top Okay. from it, okay. but I like the matte finish because it's a little bit more subdued but now, it's possible to polish it and make it shiny through felix you're going to be doing other types of coating other colors tell me a little bit more about those well besides nickel boron as an example we do salt bath nitrocarbonizing which is melaniting our trade name for it is is uh, nitromet and what that does is it's a fusion process does not change the dimensions of a part because we had to add about a half a mil or five tenths four tenths to five tenths on this four tenths of a million to to give it the coating uniformity but to be honest with you if we want to go into another finish it's called nitromet and we actually do that we do pvds which are uh, perfusion coatings just about anything on the market uh, titanium nitrate we've played with and able to do um, but right now our two main coatings are this and like i say the nitromet nitromet in a barrel believe it or not is about will last about 30 to 40 percent more than crow oh my god yeah no, I, i'm trying to be trying not to to touch this um felix this is going to be something that's going to be available here exclusively yes right? this is our integral suppressed uh 22 and uh um, we something. are completely uh gone through this with uh, the coating uh the bolt is coated the frame is coated uh the suppressor is coated um, this should add a great life, uh, ease to clean to the firearm. 
Um, it's something that uh, no one else is offering right now. These guns are prototype, but we are going to be going into production with these. This is actually my personal gun <laughs> that I'm going to be putting through a um, variety of tests. What's one of the other really cool features of this uh, finish is that it is salt resistant. So if you are on a boat and you have a moisture rich environment, any kind of a firearm like a shotgun, AR or anything like mm -hmm. that would be considerably unretentious being treated by that process because as we all know, salt and metal sometimes do not get along. So well, even without the salt applications, we had two inches of rain last night. Yeah. It's like 150% humidity out there. Um, this is my going to be my personal gun. I'm just thrilled to have it coated with something that'll add just some regular rust prevention, even though I'm not taking it out on the boat. I got to tell you, um, the, the parts here are just incredible. I've never seen coating as done so uniformly, and it, it's you. like it was made out of this. Yeah, you, when, when you talk about uniformity and you talk about finish and you talk about wear resistance, what's cool about this stuff is, as an example, Martin County Sheriff's Department, years ago we coated a bunch of 870 shotguns for them for their Marine units. Sure. They still have them. They haven't rusted. <laughs> We've also done stuff for Indian River County and other sheriff's departments where they're coming from hot to cold and they get the, the right. weather change. AC and they get, to the outside. Yeah, and it gets the condensation and swelling, especially with the guys that are up in the uh, towers that have to patrol over the... Uh, 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 the jail that we have sure. there so that gun goes hot and cold when they walk out and those rusted up in no time well we did some for them and they're still absolutely pristine now Felix you mentioned earlier you know, you're, you're not just going to be providing the service for firearms you're looking at knives and anything else yes anything that requires that kind of a finish or that kind of a protection we were speaking about doing some mm -hmm. firearms some uh, uh -huh. tactical uh, access um, because it adds tremendous strength and longevity to the material one of the other things that we're doing that nobody Else does. This is a 9mm bolt carrier or a complete assembly. No one does it for 9mm ARs. These right. are prototypes. We're going to be putting them to our base. And he's the only one doing that for sure. Yeah, right. we're, we're definitely going to be introducing a lot of these to the market because the 9mm has been gaining a lot of uh, traction in today's AR market and we're also introducing our own line of 9mm and this is going to be one of the features that are going to be on all of our guns that comes in standard. We have to get that to the range. Any idea on a price point yet on this, or is it too early? Um, they're not going to be tremendously more expensive than our standard product. We're probably looking at about a you know thirteen hundred dollar, fourteen hundred dollar range. They're going to come in a nice little package. And that's all weather. Yeah, it's all weather. Yes. And they can remove the baffles and clean it. But the cool part about that gun is, is it's going to run. And you know how well. Tw let's go back to twenty twos being so dirty and gritty. Yeah. The more firing this gun is going to require almost no to no, you know almost no lubrication let's not say it runs without right because we don't like to say that but basically if the gun's well worn in and there's no lubrication less of that dirt and mill and stuff you know it gets in there and then it starts to mildew a little bit in there after a while. Like a no. yeah. so no. with this you got greater weapon life easier cleaning more reliability am i missing anything no that's just about it it's there are other coatings out there but it's the best that you can find that'll take care of all the needs in a row across the board. Right. right, something will be a little harder, something will be a little bit more weather resistant. But in general, that's why we went to this product, and that's why we're so successful at doing the coding. Well, I wish you guys nothing but success. I think Thanks. this is the most exciting news. Thank for you so much, gun Thank guys. I've seen in quite a while. Yeah, it's something that everybody will enjoy and something that everybody will definitely use to protect the life of their firearms. Right. Uh, we know firearms are expensive and if you want to have a good investment, something that you want longevity out of, that yeah. process will only add to your firearm. Guaranteed. Yeah. Better than bluing and parkerizing. Right. Yes, and, and keep in mind that, you know, they can come to him, you know, Al, you know, Felix, and off he goes with that part, sends it to me, and bam, I'm ready to code it for him and get it back to him so you can do some interesting things. He's a very innovative guy. He's very, you know, functional as far as coming up with new ideas and designs. Or if somebody's got an existing heirloom and they want to oh, code it, perfect. I mean, it'll or last for many generations. Or a suppressor. We're right now going to be playing with suppressors, yeah. actually coding inside and outside of the suppressor. Because they get dirty. They get dirty just like the 22s we were talking about. It's very interesting to mention something about the lubrication yeah. of 22. We run our 22s dry because what happens with the 22s is that if you do oiling, the unburned powder, especially being intergally suppressed, gums them up. 
Yeah. So we try to run them as dry as we can. So this process really adds to the longevity and functionality of the gun because now we can almost literally run them dry and not worry about it. If you talk to anybody who have shot a lot of integral suppressed 22s, they will tell you that that unburned powder is just horrible. Yeah. And the more oil, and that's a big mistake that people do, they oil the living lights on. Well, they'll work good for a little while until that power starts turning into gum. Yeah. and start gumming up the gun so that's why we say run and dry okay mm -hmm. then clean them after you have and this one can truly run dry absolutely oh, so that's a wow. huge huge right. advantage especially in the suppressor industry right now suppressors are one of the most popular things in an NFA line because a lot of people uh, now a lot of states are allowing them to be used for hunting mm -hmm. home blinking and so on so if you have a 2 to 3 308 suppressor anything it's a large caliber bring it here bring it here we'll code it for you and it will add a tremendous life and ease of maintenance will be virtually no main especially if it's a suppressor it can be taken apart the greatest advantage you're going to get out of it is a suppressor like the new gemtech suppressors that are monocore yeah. that we can call the inside of the uh, uh that we can actually take it apart clean it put it back basically together basically you're going to be able to pull it out spray it wash it and you're done well it's to me it looks easy. like it's perfect for optimat kalashnikova <laughs> yeah yeah absolutely that'll be the next step thank that'll you be the next step thanks. well thank you so much my pleasure